morning. All right, good morning to you. We had our coffee oatmeal breakfast for the morning. Fueled up, ready to roll. We've been on the, well, we've been cycling probably 30 minutes or so now. Uh, just now kind of getting warmed up a little bit. The air was a little bit cool this morning, which is, it's nice because it's going to be hot today, but we're going to move along. We got started pretty early this morning. It's Friday. Try to get out and get by before the traffic gets too bad because usually it's pretty crazy on Fridays. Well, we had another nice stay at Squim State Park. We knew what to expect, so it wasn't too bad. Quite a few cyclists out. We think there might be more cyclists out now than there was, say, a week or two ago. We're starting to see quite a few more. Maybe now is a little more popular time. We'll end up stopping for, I think we need one meal, one dinner, and maybe a few snacks. We don't need too much. We're going to go by a QFC and they're like a Kroger, Kroger brand. They'll have, they'll have what we need. Well, we're running off grade D pizza fuel today. Yeah. All right, we are taking a little break, getting the snack. We just got off 20. Not much more now. So we got to go up over the hill, then back down, across the bridge, onto the island. Rose and I are chowing down on some goldfish. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how many bags we've eaten on this trip, but oh it's a lot. It's a lot. And uh, probably get another one today. Yep. Yeah. And I noticed. Uh, these goldfish are a little more cooked or a little more done. They're a little crispy or burnt than the others we've been getting. Yep. Oh, my knees are so stiff. Oof, 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 oof. Well, we are back going. And we ride a little bit further here. And we take a left on 19, right on 16. Kentucky Fried Chicken's on the left. UFC. All right, we're on 16 now. It's gone 21.4 miles and probably 12 to go. Kentucky Fried Chicken, here we come. Just turned off on Flagler Road. Uh, Rose said eight more miles. We'll be there. All right, we're going along the Indian Arsenal right now. This is Indian Island. And when I looked at Google Earth, it looked like just a bunch of bunkers. So I was trying to find a little info about the area, see what there is to do. And I'm guessing this is just where they... Uh, I'm guessing this is just where they store ammunition here, since it's a Indian Arsenal. But we're cruising along and hopefully we'll be there in about an hour. Island. All right, the last bit here. We're paving the road. Hustle around. All right, after 11 billion miles of fresh chip sill, we are at Fort Flagler State Park. All right, it's kind of a long, bumpy ride. Had a bit of shade though, so I can't complain too much. Fairly flat. Like 
regular safe park. All right. Okay, we're all checked in. We got about a mile and three quarter. Take a left up the hill, and we got a kiss. So that lady was very, very pleasant to talk with. Very nice. They're not all that uh, nice and welcoming. But she did leave us hanging there for a second thinking she didn't have any sights. Other than that, we are, we're in, and we're in for two days. Here we have another battery. And of course, had to put us at the top of the hill, all the way in the back. You're killing me. <laughs> All right, here's HB 11. This is where we this are. This is our view we have right here. Oh, we relax for the next couple of days. Uh, I'm glad to be here those day. The uh, it was funny though. The lady at the front, she said, uh, "I seen you over at Anderson State Park, which is like 20 miles ago." passed us on the road, she recognized us. Alright, we are going for a hike. Hey, did you bring the map? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay, we're gonna try to go sit on the beach for a bit. This beach down there, maybe. And then walk all around the beach that goes on the far side, and then I think there's a lighthouse down there. We're gonna do that today. Tomorrow, I think we might do the, the forest stuff, the up, the up higher stuff. I don't know, we'll see. We still got a little legs left in us. We were like, oh, look at this shortcut. And it's not a shortcut, it's just a overlook. Okay, we just got some beta on a trail. This does go down to the beach, and since it's low tide right now, that we can sneak around to the lower beach area. So we don't have to come back up to go around, which is good to know. Ah, here we go. All right, so, so there are pigeon guimos up here from the sign that we were reading, which is the same bird that we saw when we were in the San Juan Islands. The funny one that landed funny in the water. Check it out. It's really nice out right now. Oh, the purple shells. I noticed there's a lot of purple shells here. Evacuate, 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 evacuate. It's getting soft. Wrong way, wrong way. Wrong way. What about that one? Oh, that one right there. That is kind of like a one that it's you would see. It's got barnacles on it. All over it. Oh, yeah. Huh.
those rocks are so colorful. Rose is trying to find a place for us to sit down for a little bit and relax. She has her book. She might have found a place to perch. Yeah. We are having a great debate. Wondering if mosquito bites go away if you don't pitch them. Having mosquito bites that would drive me crazy. Absolutely nuts. Um, week or Rose don't have any mosquito bites. Oh, okay. She don't need them, she said. But mine is like, had a pocket knife, I'd cut them off. Alright, this is the lower campground. I'm gonna go over here to the store and see what they have and see what the hours are and stuff. Before we continually walk around, the sailboat that we saw earlier is leaving. I'm sorry to crash, I'm getting tired. I'm about to sleep on the beach there. figure out what this is before we walk over here. It's fenced off within like six inches. You can only get within six inches. Well, it looks like some kind of maybe an old wall. You think it's like an old yeah. old wall? Yeah. A wall made out of timber. No? A wall made out of rock. Metal? Rings? Wall made out of nothing. There's nothing inside. Some giant spikes. Check out those giant spikes. Maybe shells or something? You can see there would have been something in there. They could have filled it with something. as you can store it away for the winter it's always a long winter got any sun sometimes so that's the post that the anti-submarine net was strung from isn't that pretty cool it would strung it probably all the way across the this is the campsite for People that come in on a human powered vessel, so a kayak or something like that, paddleboard. If you come in on a paddleboard or a kayak, you can stay at this campsite. Isn't that pretty cool? Nice little spot. You got the bluff drop? Um, probably, I'm guessing. Checking out all the kites through the campground. Pretty cool ones. 
up off the beach and back to camp. Got us a little treat there at the clubhouse. I had ice cream foam and Rose has a session. <laughs> Lady in there was very nice. She wasn't too sure on what the prices were, but she got close enough. She thought she must be kind of new, I think. Smoked iron pipes were something. There's a uh, spring that comes out of the hillside there. Right here. You can hear the water trickling out. Imagine it's fresh water, huh? Yeah. What do you think about these stairs? Feel the burn, huh? Oof. Each one. Hip, 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 hip. Hip, hip. Come on, real hip. 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 Hip.